Hello, my name is Gaurav, and today we will be starting a series. I would be starting a series on a tool which I have worked on, that is Azure DevOps. So I'll cover it from the testing perspective that what all things are important or I've, I have used in my career. And I'll, I'll try to explain to you. So let's break these two words first. That what is Azure DevOps? So Azure is a, a cloud offering. right so this is a cloud offering from microsoft and similarly from amazon we have aws right and from google cloud we have gcp so uh, all the microsoft services are mostly hosted in azure right and this is another tool called as azure devops so devops is a uh, practice basically it's not that that learning this tool you will learn devops because devops is a uh, development process operations right it's a mindset change right but there are some tools which help you uh, do the devops the activities that are involved in devops which makes devops possible for example here you read ci cd right so all these things are made possible uh, by the tool uh, which microsoft has designed and whose name is azure devops so we'll be focusing on the the tool part right not on the devops the name of the tool is azure devops azure stands for the cloud from the microsoft and uh, the full name is azure devops which is also popularly known as ado you might hear from people they use this term ado which means azure devops so what all things that are there in this tool <laughs> right so these are some major components that you see on the screen for example this uh, azure dev boards where uh, you can have some task and all right and pipelines by which you can do continuous integration continuous deployment and there are repos just like you store the code on github this also provides you uh, the repo thing and there are test plans where you can maintain your test cases and also these things are not provided by github as of now right so it's an uh, end to end package kind of stuff right where you can develop you can collaborate with people right uh, you can see it here like in the starting they have written these things plan smarter collaborate better shift faster right so enough of theory let's do some practical i'll create my account here you can click on start free if any of this has not made any sense uh in the next videos you will see things right and let's go with the flow and create an account the more practical you will see the you will understand it better so i am creating an account with one of my gmail ids so which is there even on github so i'm entering the username and password for that so i am proceeding with the options that it is giving me right since i already have an account but for the tutorial i am creating a new one so that uh, you and me are on the same page right okay so it is saying get started with that so it's asking me the country let me put india and continue so it's asking me that what is the uh, organization that you want to store and you can see that which server is near to you right in cloud uh, there are various servers placed in the world so if you select the nearest the one which is nearest to you you will get a better speed right so for now let me name it as khurana gorov this this is an organization so uh, like in azure devops the top level is organization right under organizations you can have various projects so i'll name it as khurana gorov right and it is asking me to give a captcha code which i am trying now s6p okay it is telling that it has already been taken let me try khurana with the double a if it allows me to do that okay i'll press continue and it will create an organization for me under which i can have different projects you can create with your name or any preferable name that you would want to give to your organization or with your blog or with some channel if you have right so it will come like dev.azure.com/slash if you see here kurana gorav is uh, coming right so it has created this for me and it is asking me to create a project right so here if you see that it has created this kurana gorav and in the url also if you notice it's written 
So now if you see that it is asking me for the first project and the visibility of whether I want it to be private and public, right? So I will, what I will do is I'll create a project, right? And I'll name it my first project in ADO, right? First project and I want it, uh, I can make it as public as well as private. So let me click on create project now. So now you see we are inside it, right? So what we did today, we understood about that dev.azure.com, Azure DevOps, like it is an offering from uh, Microsoft, right? Which is hosted in their Azure cloud and the name of this tool is Azure DevOps. It helps in achieving the things that are said to be in DevOps like CI, CD, CT, right? So it's a mindset and totally different thing, right? But uh, this tool will help you achieve some of the goals that are there in the DevOps, right? So they have named the tool as Azure DevOps. So whatever we see outside, you see over here, right? Like repos, pipelines, test plans, artifacts. So we have created an account successfully and created a project. So there are two things to learn as of now, right? In this video that this is the organization and this is the project. So there would be one organization and it can have multiple projects. So we created the organization as Kurana Gaurav, right? And we have the first project. So in the upcoming videos, we'll discuss more on this, but uh, let me know if you face any problems reaching here and we'll discuss each of these topics one by one. And let me know if you want to cover anything special in this video. I'll try to cover that as well. Right. Thank you for watching.